arguably the most important feature of a device is how do you turn it on and uh, as much as we've been conditioned to push a button and boom it turns on uh, not not so the case not too complicated the instructions are not lacking if you read the manual it actually does confirm what this video confirms that that uh, the pre there's a specific procedure on how to initiate copying from a source to a target disk again this is a straight copy you're not using the computer you're going you're putting in uh, your original disk into the source slot or the a slot and you're putting in your target which is the disk you want to copy onto into the b slot and then you initiate this uh, transfer of data uh, so it doesn't work if the USB cable, which is connected to the computer, maybe it'll work with the computer off, but, but I've got my computer on, I've disconnected the cable, and we're going to do it again. So just below the B is the clone button, which is really the on button, and there's a slight sequence, so get the sequence correct, because uh, otherwise it's going to be kind of frustrating for you to push the button. Um, here we go through the procedure on how to turn it on and, and initiate uh, the direct clone. Hold the button. You're going to see the 100% LED light up blue. Now, as soon as you see that 100% light up blue, hit the clone button one more time. So as soon as you see the blue 100% light up, hit the clone, and then you're going to see flashing LED on the 25%, and that's indicating that it started the clone process and it's uh, 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 starting at the 25% process bar. Um, so a couple quick features. I, I do appreciate that they're using a, it's not a universal USB, but, but this is, I've got another clone uh, device and it's the same USB and it's also the same uh, 12 volt uh, charger so I, I like that feature anyway that's where they get connected um, it's got the remember to turn the on button on at the back when you're getting ready to clone okay so let's say here are our two hard drives oh this is kind of a nice it's it's a freebie but it's a little dust cover uh, I had to cut a little notch in, a, in the back of it because with the cables connected the cover doesn't go on so it's uh, thin enough uh, I would just cut it so that it's a nice way to store the device okay so the A is the source disk that's the original disk if you will locate the uh, SATA connectors and very carefully drop it in place don't force it it should just slide in very easily this is the B disk or the target disk where it's getting copied onto again same thing very carefully lay it in don't force it in turn the button on on the back of it and you're going to see the A light up and you're going to see the B that means that the device has recognized uh, if it is connected to your computer you're going to actually see the A flickering on and off because it's transferring information or or, 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 or the computers recognize it in the same with the B here I've gone through the same process of trying to start it the USB is connected and I just hold the clone button and nothing happens so we went through this procedure earlier, but, but I'm making a, an important point of it again. Um, turn the device off. Disconnect the USB cable. Turn the device back on. Wait for the A LED to light. Wait for the B LED to light. You're going to hold the clone button, which is just below the B. You're going to hold it. And as soon as you see a blue LED light up at the 100%, you're going to hit the clone button uh, again one time. And then that uh, initiates the cloning process. And it's, it's approved by the 20% LED starts flickering. So that's what we're going to do here. So it's not terribly complicated but it's going to give you a little bit of frustration if you don't follow this procedure because you won't know what's going on I think what's most critical is make sure that you turn off the uh, or unplug the USB cable because it doesn't seem to work with it now there is other hardware that you can buy and you could leave the two devices connected and it should see both both uh, hard drives and you can copy one partition or two partitions uh, more specialized but that's that's not the purpose of this video so after the 
cloning process is completed, you can see that all four lights are solid and the 100% is complete. Here is an unusual feature with this uh, clone device. So when you stick a disk in, you have to wait till you hear the computer recognize or, or mount the drive and you hear, you'll hear, hear that little bloop bloop. Uh, so you can't, be patient, don't, don't, uh, don't do a whole lot until you've heard that. So what I discovered is after I made my copy, uh, only one of the drives would show up. And so I had to remove one of the drives and it would it would only rec see there, there you hear the uh, so that that's the drive mounted and let's see what we've got this is one of the drives let's go ahead and kind of close these down and just have one open all right so we're going to go under we're going to right click we're going to go to disk management and this is the Windows software that let's see you must initialize the disk so what's unusual is that this this disk 4 is the disk that we copied uh, from our source disk to our target disk and it's unusual because I double checked it and I take one of the hard drives out of the docking station and it will show up. If I remove it and put the other one in, then the other one shows up. But if I put them both in at the same time, only one of them shows up. So I think it's a glitch with, with, with the hardware. So don't fret, um, do, do use this workaround and double check and make sure that don't copy over top of it because you won't be able to. So uh, you you you'll copy from the target disk from the source disk to the target disk, and then the target disk doesn't show up. It won't mount, and it says it's not recognized, or it indicates it's not recognized, but it actually does have a complete copy of the source disk. So don't this this docking station does not allow you to mount both drives the original and the copy at the same time and however you can mount both of them individually and they will individually mount but not if they're both connected to the hardware device the uh, uh, clone hardware at the same time so uh, th that's uh, a bite um, anyway it, it, it's more it's more understand that that you'll freak out because you went through this whole copy process and you want to confirm your copy you and then if you leave both disks in the device you'll only see one of them show up and it's usually the source the, which is the original disk and the target disk doesn't mount so you take out the source and you put the target back in um, and, and then it does show up and it does show a complete copy so just just be aware of that um, again, always remember to shut the device off, the piece of hardware, um, and before you remove the hardware, don't don't remove the hardware while the drive is spinning. Um, okay, so what are we going to do?